What's up, you guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, hey, welcome back. I am doing a favorite red lipsticks video today. I think it was a few days ago, maybe about a week ago, I posted a snap where I had a bunch of red lipsticks swatched on my hand and I was telling you guys that I was trying to decide what lip to wear. And a few of you guys asked if I can tell you guys what red lipsticks they were and I thought I would just do a video all about it. It's holiday season. A lot of people love wearing red lipstick around this time of the year. I love wearing red lipstick all the time, but especially around this time of the year. So I was like, why don't I just film an entire video all about my favorite red lipstick? So that's what we gonna do today. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy videos like this, I post videos every single week. There's always something going on in my channel every single week so if you like this kind of stuff make sure to subscribe to my channel and let's get into it so i have all my lipsticks in this little container right here and i'm not going to go in any particular order i guess i'll start with the one that i'm wearing on my lips right now and i filmed this entire look i'm wearing the Too faced melted matte in the color lady balls i don't even know why i'm looking at it to look at the name i wear this lipstick all the time i've had it i think i've had it ever since they launched these and this definitely has to be one of my favorite red lipsticks. It's a really, it's kind of like a bright red. It has a tiny bit of a blue-ish hint to it, but not nothing too dramatic. And I like wearing this lip color year round. It's the perfect red. I don't even think I need to swatch it because you can already um, see it here, but I'll just do a swatch just to compare it to the other ones. But that is what that one looks like right there. All of these reds are very similar, just different formulas, different brands. So you kind of have options to choose from. Some of the reds are deeper than the other ones. Some of them are brighter than the other ones. Some of them are more affordable than other ones, but this is definitely a favorite for me. The formula is not drying whatsoever. Once you put it on and it dries up, it's gonna stay in place. I'm not gonna say it's like the most long lasting because it does transfer a little tiny bit, but um, it goes on like a gloss and then it dries up completely matte like this. This one I also featured in a video recently, Anastasia Beverly Hills Sarafine. That's how I pronounce it. And it's, it's kind of similar to this one, but it's more of a vampy red. This is probably really terrible, but that is what that one looks like. So this is the Too Faced and this one right here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it's just slightly slightly deeper on camera it kind of looks like it's lighter actually it might be a little bit lighter uh, next up we'll do the Ofra Kathleen Lights Havana Nights uh, this one I did also get a while ago I'm gonna check to see if it was like a limited edition product or if they still have it but this one is another deep 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 red definitely a lot deeper than the ones that I just showed you it's almost like a burgundy I would say it's still a little bit wet but you can see it right here it's most definitely deeper than the other two that i showed you but formula is similar in the sense that it does also go on like a gloss and then it dries up completely matte so far those three are some faves next up i have this is a drugstore one it's the milani a more matte lip cream in devotion it is pretty drying especially if you go in with like two coats i would just be very careful just do a thin layer of it and you should be fine for the price though you really can't beat it because it's kind of hard even now that liquid lipsticks are really popular it's still kind of hard to find a good drugstore liquid lipstick a lot of times they don't dry up to be completely matte even though they claim to be matte so this one's a really go good one that is actually matte. If you like red lipsticks that have a little bit more of a pink hint to it, you might like this one. It's kind of similar. Mm, not really. It's not really similar to the Too Faced one, but it's this one right here. So compared to all the other ones, you can see it's just a tiny, tiny bit more... Um, pink some of you guys are probably watching this video like sabrina those are all the same color i promise you they're not and especially not the formula next one is also another drugstore one this is the nyx liquid suede cream lipstick this is another one that is not extremely extremely long lasting it's going to last on the lips but it's not as 
like it's it's going to transfer a little bit is what i'm trying to say but these are so comfortable on the lips if you want something that's a soft matte finish comfortable on the lips and that's gonna last you a decent amount of time and if you haven't tried these i definitely would I'm trying to figure out where i should swatch this one but this is another one that's a little bit of burgundy right there it still has to dry now that they're drying up you can see a little bit more of the difference between all of them one that i picked up i think i picked this one up last year around this time is kat von d nosferatu and formula this is similar to the anastasia one in the sense that it's not going to budge or transfer these are pretty intense but keep in mind they might be a little bit more on the dry side i always go in with a lip balm underneath and i'm fine this is one of my favorites well all of these are favorites but this is on the top as far as color and formula once this one dries i feel like it almost has a slight metallic finish a slight brownish finish i don't know you have to swatch it and let it dry to kind of see what i'm talking about it dries different than when you first swatch it so that's the color right there it's absolutely stunning one of my favorite favorite reds i feel like i almost have some in here that are dupes of one another because as they dry i'm finding that okay this one looks kind of like this one that one looks kind of like that one you can obviously like pick and choose you don't have to get all these colors i'm sure you guys already know that but uh, next one up is MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Carnivorous. And this is another deeper color, but it has more of that violet reddish hint to it. I don't think violet's the right term. I think I mean plum. Like it has more of a plum uh, hint to it. So it's this one right here. It's, I think it's the darkest one that I've swatched so far. This one is an actual lipstick. So if you like lipsticks, this would be a go-to. It's Urban Decay 714 Mega Matte Lipstick, and it's just a re regular old lipstick. This is the brightest red that I have. Don't even have to point it out. You can see it's the brightest one out of all the swatches. It almost looks a little bit pink-orange on camera, but it is definitely a very bright fluorescent red. Very pretty for like Christmas, if you celebrate or for the holidays if you want to really really stand out or if you're, you're wearing minimal makeup like i usually do and you want a bold lip this color is perfect and it's comfortable because it's a lipstick but it's also matte it's not going to be as long lasting as a liquid lipstick but it is still matte and it still works i have a lip liner too in case you want to use a lip liner with any of these colors and i find that this one goes with just about any of these and it's brick by mac not a super bright red and it's not a deep red either so you can uh use this one for the lighter reds and for the uh true reds maybe you can go a little bit deeper if you want to go with the deeper colors but i find that this lip liner kind of goes with just about any red that i try so i always make sure to carry this with me if i do wear red lipstick this one i recently tried out and it's from the balm this is the last one and uh, looking at it in the packaging it looks like a hot pink and even when you swatch it it looks like a hot pink too but it can kind of pass as a red especially if you wear a lip liner like this underneath and you put a little bit of this on top it's gonna look like a really nice reddish color it's this one here I love the formula of the the balm ones. That's why I really wanted to mention it. That's the only reddish one that I have, but I really recommend their liquid lipsticks because of the formula and the pigmentation. So there is that one. So those are all my favorite red lip products. I mainly wanted to come on here really quick and share them with you all because I got a lot of questions on like what colors I had swatched my hands. So this is mainly just to kind of tell you guys what colors they were and give you a little bit of swatches hopefully they weren't that terrible but i'll try to include photos and hopefully they kind of help but i hope this video was helpful if you have a different red lip option that you really think i would like or that somebody else that reads the comments would like drop it down below in the comment section as always thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and i will see you all in my next video